currently at the uh, Hyatt Regency and will be going on through August 10th. And Guy, you uh, were Wild Bill Hickok. And I did the uh, Wild Bill Hickok uh, television show for seven years, yeah. Along with uh, Andy Devine. Also, before the television show, I, did, I made uh, 15 feature pictures. During the television show, I made another 15 features. Uh, and you haven't stopped. You're still in 1960. I went to uh, to Europe. I worked in Europe for 12 years. Made 46 films over there. My goodness. And uh, came back and went back a couple of times. And uh, so now I'm trying to get a production off the ground, or do something of quality. Mm -hmm. When you make that many films, that many television shows. You finally reach the age where you say, well, I think it's time to do something of quality. Oh, come on. And that's, that's what I've been working at. When that's why I'm on this show. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Wh when you were doing the, the TV series, how, how many would you do at a... You, you would do uh, six in a row, six or seven in a row, and take two weeks off, then come back and do six or seven more. First year we made 26 in a row, and after that we made 13 each year. But after you finish the, the uh, television, shooting the television show, you'd, you'd go on a tour hmm. and personal appearances all over the country. We've been through uh, Memphis and all through the South and North, everywhere. And uh, then you wear the buckskin jacket it's and the beginning good. pants and the pants were inside and we we're working in a studio set. It may be, it might be uh, 100 degrees outside, it's 120 in here, see? Hmm. And if you're working outside, 100 degrees outside and there's seven or eight Re big reflectors thrown at you. And um, the reason they threw so much light in was uh, they shot everything flat. They wanted the background the same as the foreground. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just pers perspire all the time. And, you know, buckskin doesn't breathe too well. And you drop 15, every six shows I drop <laughs> 15 pounds and try to recuperate. In two get weeks. Wait back up, get in shape, and go again. I mentioned you are uh, thinner than you were when you played the series. Yeah, but well, I'm you older just too. explain why. A lot of people think that, you know, I don't have hair. They say, what do you wear the hat for all the time? No, it's your well, own, I got, too. Yeah, I still got hair. <laughs> Changed in color. But you know, most older people gain weight, but you, you, it's great that you well, can I drop it. Well, I exercise a lot, try to keep in, you look great. in shape, yeah. yeah. You look great. What kind of films do you make in Europe? Western? I made all kinds. All kinds? Very few Westerns. I finally made, uh, after the Clint Eastwood thing went over so big in, in Italy, the Italians would always copy a film that was hot, see? I made, I only made uh, three uh, spaghetti westerns. The rest of them were, I started out with uh, Roman, Roman epic. I had a winner, and the first one was Marco Vicario. He was a kind of a bit player. He married uh, Rosanna Podesta, and she was kind of a hot, she had done a couple of things mm -hmm. before that. And he came up with the money to produce, went to Yugoslavia, and the Yugoslavian government uh, subsidized him to a certain degree. And at that time, my name was quite important. He got some money through my name. And he, he made a winner, La Schiava di Roma, which means the slave of Rome. And they released it in the States. And about five years later, hell, he owned all <laughs> these apartment complexes and the whole thing. Everything he touched turned to gold. He finally made a picture, I think, called Gold or Gold Bars or something. Mm -hmm. And that was